What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before I crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, then do subscribe to my channel, rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for everybody to enjoy. Uh, so if that is something that interests you, then do subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Manchester City transfer news first and fast this summer. Aiming for 20k subscribers, we're less than 600 subs away, so any help towards that would be fantastic. Also, social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email, also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries, Twitch link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitch. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video, aiming for 400 likes. And lastly, don't forget also to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these trans. Without further ado, let's crack on with this video. We're going to start off with the outs, and it's very interesting. We've got an update on Bernardo Silva and Gabriel Jesus. Now, first, Bernardo Silva, the Athletic, they're saying that Bernardo, he still wants to leave. We already know that. They, uh, we know that Atletico Madrid, they're interested. They're still interested in signing Bernardo Silva. Not sure if they can afford him or not, but they are interested in signing him this summer. Apparently, Bernardo Silva uh, has been looking to leave his Manchester City centre apartment and has everything sorted for him to up sticks and move quickly if that is needed. Now, interestingly, uh, it's been reported by The Athletic that Juventus are also interested in signing Bernardo Silva this summer. I find that really interesting. I'm wondering if they have the funds and the cash to be able to afford Bernardo Silva. Apparently is available for around 60 million euros. So we're talking around 50, 55 million pounds is what Man City are looking for for Bernardo Silva. And in terms of Gabriel Jesus, it's also been reported by The Athletic that he could also leave before the transfer window does end. Now, the reason that City are looking to sell Bernardo Silva and potentially sell Gabriel Jesus, who I'm going to presume is one of them four players that Pep Guardiola has mentioned about players wanting to leave, as Jesus is being linked with the exit door. Uh, but um, I feel like the reason that is happening is that Manchester City are looking for a striker and City are looking to make room, not just in their squad, but also to get some finances there. We know financial fair play isn't an option for, or isn't any worry to Manchester City for uh, this uh, this season. So we can go out there and spend big if we want to. Hence, we already have with Jack Grealish. But the indication I'm getting from Manchester City is they're wanting to roll everything as business as normal. So they're looking to be selling players and getting the income into the club. Uh, and that is obviously going to be profitable upon um, players coming in and the money that Manchester City is spending on investment into the club. And so we're spending £100 million on Jack Grealish and we're spending £120 million pounds for example on Harry Kane the Manchester City are going to be looking to make a lot of money on their outgoings we already know that City are going to be making roughly around 60 million pounds already uh, with um, player sales uh, of players that aren't in and around the first team squad now if Bernardo Silva was to leave and it was to be around 50 million pounds then that would take us up to around 110 million pounds so if we did sign Kane we've still spent 110 million pounds more um, than what we've managed to generate in player sales and I've got a feeling City are looking to try and generate as much as possible from player sales this summer um, to try and help with the income so we can spend big to bring players in. We don't need to do that but we are choosing to do that so Manchester City's uh, business model and uh, how the money's being made isn't too badly affected of course by Covid as we'll get a true indication over the next 12 months of just how bad the finances are. I mean Barcelona are already starting to realise how bad the finances are and so Man City looking to try and generate as much income as possible and one really good way of generating income is selling players and if you've got unhappy players already here then you can sell them because when you do sell them you can bring other players in and if we've got players that don't want to be here then surely these players need to be made available for transfer. Not too sure who the other players would be. Uh, I have an inkling that it could be a Merrick Laporte. Of course he's been linked with the exit door and unhappy about game time at Manchester City recently declared for Spain. Who could afford uh, to uh, sign 
a Merrick Laporte, though. How much would we be looking for for him? Because he's a class centre-back. Still got a few years left on his contract at Manchester City. So you're speaking a lot of money, and clubs don't have a lot of money right now, uh, other than Premier League clubs. And I don't see City selling these players to Premier League clubs. Uh, I wondered who the other players could be. Uh, people I spoke about, Raheem Sterling. Uh, I've got a feeling he's not even back from training yet, Raheem. Uh, back from uh, his holidays and stuff. Back in the uh, training facilities with Manchester City. So I'm not sure for Raheem Sterling. We know that he has uh, said that he has been unhappy and I'm sure we'll get further clarification as the summer transfer window does go on. Uh, however, I'd be very surprised if these players were to leave. I'd say the most likely would be Bernardo Silva. And if there was another player exit to leave City, I'd say from the first team squad, probably would be Gabriel Jesus. I have a sense that we probably could get some cash for Bernardo Silva. Jesus, I'm not so sure about. Could well be a loan transfer, uh, maybe with an obligation to buy or an option to buy if it's a favourable loan fee uh, for Gabriel Jesus. So we are talking like £10, £20 million pounds to have him for the season uh, and then put an obligation to buy for let's say 50 million pounds and you're getting Gabriel Jesus for 70 million pounds if he does impress so I, I'm speculating that's what could happen for Manchester City and that is seemingly looking like the direction we're heading in as we head towards the end of August and transfer deadline day but I'm getting a sense that City if they want to sign Kane are going to sell first and that's through choice not needing to do that so please if you're leaving in the comments don't mix them two up uh, anyway moving on to the ins we've got an Ilay Mariba update City have been linked with him plays for Barcelona has recently been dropped from their first team back to their B team he's not happy about that but Barcelona have done that because um, he wouldn't sign a new contract so yeah there's six of one and half a dozen of the other going on here. Anyway, due to his contract demands and finances on Barcelona's behalf, they've accepted that they're going to let him leave. Uh, they're willing to listen to bids for him and they are hoping to get some bids in before the end of the transfer window. We know that Manchester City are interested. They were earlier linked in the window. So have Chelsea as well. So I imagine Barcelona will be letting these clubs, including us, know that he is available for transfer and it is something that we could make happen. Now, to be fair, I don't know too much about Mariba. I've never seen him play. So if anyone has, then please do let me know in the comments below on how good the uh, young player can be. Uh, but how it's coming across at the moment from the transfer, I don't know whether it's coming from a bit of Barcelona propaganda uh, and the media outlets leaking it in and out there to make it look unfriendly or whether um, it's genuine or not. How it's coming across is it's looking like uh, Mariba's um, motivation is to earn more money, which obviously being a football player and uh, working as well, you're always going to aspire to be that like that. Uh, but how much money are we talking? Is that going to be his main motivation? Uh, money and not playing for the club? I'm not too sure. Uh, and some will suggest, I'm sure, at Barcelona that he's chucking his toys out of the pram and he's not got the right attitude. But like I said, could be propaganda, could be a bit of the truth in that. I mean, look at the split opinions on Eric Garcia. Some fans at City really rated Eric Garcia. Uh, and then when he chose to leave, decided not to rate him anymore. People have called him a snake and they don't like him. Others have always said that he's got the potential to be there, but he's not quite there others have said he's a fantastic defender so yeah lots of different opinions anyway uh that's the situation that we're seeing with uh mariba and if it is true that he does have a bit of an ego i don't see pep going for that so we'll see pep's a barca fan he'll know all the ins and outs of mariba he'll be told by barcelona he'll have people at barcelona that he trusts and stuff so we'll see what happens there now Got a little update on Romelu Lukaku. City have been linked with him, but we look set to miss out on him. He's closing in on a £93 million move to Chelsea. That's been accepted according to Fabrizio Romano. Uh, Inter Milan have accepted this bid. Inter on all cash, no players. And Chelsea are just sorting a contract ready for that to be sorted uh, in the coming hours into days. It's not too far off. Uh, with that, and so Chelsea looking to add to their squad, so Lukaku's looking like a no-go. Uh, Lionel Messi also looking like a no-go as well. He's closing in on a move to PSG. He's believed to be heading to Paris for talks very soon, uh, including with his father, his agent, uh, as they look to try and secure uh, a deal for him to go to uh, Paris, which would be a two-year deal with the option of an extra year. And so with us missing already out on Danny Ings, uh, Patson Dacker has already left, of course, gone to Leicester City. Um, Andre Gomez was linked earlier in the window. Um, I'm not sure if he ever secured his transfer to RB Leipzig or not. Uh, but there we go. That's another player that City won't be signing, by the way. Uh, and Lionel Messi missing out on him and Lukaku as well. It's literally looking like the only two options City have uh, is Harry Kane, of course, who we've already spoken about. 
and Erling Haaland whose contract uh, release clause comes available next summer so won't be signed this summer because quite frankly no one can uh, grant paying uh, two to three times his value for a player that you can pick up for cheap next uh, next summer and quite frankly with his father's fees, his agent's fees, his representatives and all that money that comes with it you, you're going to be barbaric to pay a massive fee to Dortmund as well for Erling Haaland when you can get him for 70, uh, 65 to 70 million pound next summer so that might be something City choose to address is there a short term option out there yeah, that's the direction we're going in. There's apparently unhappiness about Kylian Mbappe. He's going to be a very expensive transfer. I don't see us signing Kylian Mbappe either. So, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. What I will say, though, from that Community Shield match that we played against Leicester City, we do need a striker. So, the sooner we get this sorted, the better. So, there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Aiming for 400 likes. That is the like goal. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you made of these transfers. Mariba, have you seen him play? Let me know in the comments below. Striker situation. Jesus potentially leaving. Bernardo leaving potentially as well. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on. Aiming for 20k subscribers. Less than 600 subs away so any help towards that would be fantastic. Also, don't forget, you can find my Twitch link. That is in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitch. I've also got my partner channel links in the description too. I've recently formed JSGC Football, where I'm going to be covering uh, football content that isn't based on Manchester City, including things like football vlogs and football talk and things like that coming up very soon. Uh, so I've left a link to that in the description. Please subscribe, sorry, uh, on that. That would be fantastic. Also, don't forget, social media links in the description below, sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships, for any videos, or any general business inquiries. And we'll be back again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.